Okay, so I'm coming on here to do a short update involving the Anaya Blanchard situation. And unfortunately, I can't say that they have found her yet. Um, But what has come out is that they did a blood sample from the vehicle. And it did turn out that that was indeed her blood that they found in the vehicle. Now, what else has come out is two things. One, they said that they can tell that where it came from and it's amazing how medical devices are able to detect this they said that she most likely has suffered a life-threatening injury meaning that she may not be deceased right now or there's a good chance that she might be but if she isn't she is currently probably dying if she doesn't have the proper medical attention which at this point, I doubt because if, if she did, we would have known because the news would put it out there saying that we have her at this hospital at this location. And a life threatening injury could be anything. Of course, like she could be she could have been bleeding out profusely. She could like an artery could have been hit. She could be suffering from a clot of something that's blocking blood to flow properly. It could be just a, a, a myriad of things, but they don't know exactly to what extent it is they just know that she suffered a life-threatening injury and i know that's something that is just like rattling the brains of her family right now the other thing that has come out and this one doesn't surprise me is they don't believe that the person that they picked up acted alone with her disappearance they believe someone else was involved and they're currently looking to see if there was anybody else that could have been involved with her disappearance because they don't believe that the person that did it was the only one who did it. They believe he had help. They don't believe that there's no any way that he could have did this by himself, crossing her, making, uh, taking her across state lines and anything like that. And for all we know, he may not have even taken her across state lines. He could have, and I don't want to think this, but worst case scenario, he could have dumped her off somewhere and still in that state They just that they haven't looked at yet. And he could have crossed state lines by himself because she wasn't there when they when they picked him up. He she wasn't there when they picked him up in Florida. He was by himself. So it's like I know I know her family, her especially her stepdad is going through it right now. They are just worried sick about her. She's been missing for about two and a half going on three weeks now. And, you know, it's unfortunate that, you know, like, uh, you know, I did a video about how people go missing, especially black people go missing and they don't give enough media attention to it. Remember when I was saying how uh, out of those options that the lack of media attention is one of the reasons why they don't know about it. Here's another example of that. Like, if y'all didn't know about it coming to my videos or maybe someone else who might be talking about it, you would never get these updates. But I'm staying on top of it. And, you know, until they actually find her. And it's like, like at this point is, is very slim. I don't want to think like that, but it's very slim that she's actually still alive, especially knowing this bit of information now saying that she most likely suffered a life threatening injury. And, you know, if a life threatening injury, it, like I said, if you don't get that treated by the proper, proper medical uh, physicians, you will die. And since we have not gotten an update saying that she's at a hospital or, you know, a location where she can get the help that she needs, it's getting even more scarier. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments and I'll talk to you in the next one.